Hello, I'm out uh, just inspecting my hives after winter. It uh, appears that both of these Langstroth hives um, did not survive the winter and I'm just going to break it down and take a look inside. I know I've already kind of peeked inside, kind of looks in this one there's a lot of mess inside but these guys were actually alive about a month ago and then we had a really late cold snap and I don't think they made it. I actually think, I don't know if you can see, I think that that might be the queen, although I'm not sure, she's just a longer body than the rest of the hive. So, um, anyways, going to go through and see if we can determine what, what killed these hives. I do notice there is a lot of, uh, that's fecal matter, um, that's the bees coming out, and that was my top ventilation, and it could get out through the bottom too, so um, there should have been ventilation in here, but, and a top entrance to allow them to get out. I'm not sure why they didn't leave. I also do notice that there's some, a little bit of mold on the top here, which may indicate a uh, ventilation problem, a moisture problem, which is typically not enough ventilation, so not sure here. I can see... I can see on this side of the frames that this looks like where the cluster would have been um, towards the end. There's still a few. This looks like there's also some uh, insects in here robbing some of the honey, perhaps. So, okay, pulling this out, pulling out a few frames. Uh, it does look like there are some some bees with that have their heads fully inside, in fact their whole bodies inside, um, face down into these cells, which may indicate starvation. A um, little bit of mold now all around, so I've got to clean it up. Um, it's hard to say exactly, but if uh, this may have been my missed opportunity to feed them in the spring when I first noticed that they were alive. So that, uh, may have been their demise. Okay, I've gone through the whole box. Um, this was a, a single deep box. It was actually a really small colony that I, I caught, or a small swarm that I caught last year. And there are more bee bees than I thought uh, in here going into the winter, so um, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of honey left. In fact, there are there's a little bit of honey uh, capped honey on this frame, front and back. Uh, it was on the opposite side from where the cluster was. Um, here's a here's a uh, foraging bee from another colony. So uh, maybe has come to rob out this colony. Um, that's my. First honeybee, first live honeybee I've seen this year. So, anyways, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, starvation, maybe. Uh, if it got really cold, I don't think it was cold enough to, to kill them, but they seem clustered and who knows. All the frames are out. There's a, quite a bit of dead bees in the bottom. Um, it does look like they probably starved in the last little while. Um, so, be my lesson to come feed them if the, the winter's lasting long. So I've cleaned everything out of this hive and um, you can see there's a little bit of comb. So they actually, they had drawn comb on uh, 9 out of 10 frames and just starting the 10th frame from that little swarm. So, my plan it here is to, I'm just going to replace all these frames for now, um, scrape them, uh, try to get a, uh, off all the dead bees and honey. There's a tiny bit of honey here that will probably be robbed out, and uh, I know with any luck, actually here's a, you can still see, there are some honey bees in the area, so I mean that's a great sign. With any luck, uh, a scout bee will come, and I don't have any bees currently on order, so my plan is either to catch another swarm and, and put it in here, 
or with any luck uh, have a swarm move in on their own. So um, these foraging bees, these worker bees that we see around are um, likely a good sign and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, having a look here in the second hive, this was actually a colony that overwintered the year before. Um, I can see as soon as I open up the, the inner cover here that there is a, a cluster up near the top. Um, so I'm going to try to dig down. This colony actually had chalk brood right before the winter, so I didn't really expect them to make it through. I added some more ventilation and um, tried to get that under control in the fall. Um, but I didn't have high hopes for this colony. It does look like they were still uh, still active though. They, um, they managed to make it at least part of the way through the winter, so um, we'll take a uh, further look. Okay, so we do see a, a cluster. There are some, some bees here with uh, their heads deep in the, in the cells, um, but only inches away, literally uh, an inch away there is some capped honey, quite a bit of it on this frame at least, so not exactly sure. Um, my guess is uh, an unhealthy hive paired with a cold, long winter, and maybe lack of food, although this top box seems to have quite a bit of honey in it. Um, we'll see. Some mold as well uh, down there. Indicating uh, a moisture problem, but again, both these hives had uh, had ventilation um, going into the winter, and um, not exactly sure why that wouldn't have been enough. That could have just been recently, maybe. We'll see. Almost at the end of inspecting uh, this top box, at least. There's two two deep um, boxes on this hive, and these last four frames. I mean, this one. I'd say about at least half full of honey and then the last three frames here are full. These are entire frames of honey still. So there was quite a bit of food left in this box. Um, so I guess my best my best guess here would be that again this one's a little bit dirty but this is still entire frame of honey. My best guess is that um, they were just too sick and too small to make it through the winter, which was my fear when I found the chalk brood in the fall. Um, so I'm going to take out some of this honey maybe, and uh, we'll leave it clean this one up as well. I'm going to leave both of these boxes um, here, at least for the short term, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully catch a swarm in a few weeks. And that will be good.